Hello, Lothrizaurus back. Let's play some Illusion of Gaia. Now we have a few problems to solve in this town. Eric's missing and the other guy lost his memory. And also there's actually three red jewels in this town, not one. And one of them, this one's probably the hardest to find if you don't know where it is, because there's no real clues or hints to it. You're just gonna have to find it. And that something is a jewel. But you can kind of see the path between the red flowers because you can't actually walk on them. So you can kind of see the plain green with no petals on it, but still hard to see if you don't know where to, to look. The other two take a little longer to get, but along the way is other stuff like re rescuing the guy, for example. Uh oh. Uh, we'll figure that out later. Two bonus items to get. I'm just gonna rush through all this because it's kind of boring. Nothing really good happens. If you just talk, talking to random people doesn't really get you anything, so. Now, all you really have to do is talk to this guy. Tell him you want to buy a slave. Who's this? I am Sam. You wrote me a note. It doesn't look like Eric rescued you very well. He did it wrong because you're still in a cage. Oh. Okay, well now we know where he is, so house that slammed the door in our face. Okay. Now, those two purple guys in the alley I didn't talk to were looking for a missing slave. But look, I found one. I should turn him in right away. That would be the moral thing to do, right? We don't want those slavers to lose out on some profits. Luckily, I don't, you kind of have to to get the red jewel to turn, turn him in. But we'll rescue him later, so it all works out. It doesn't really matter. Look, Eric calls out now that I know that he's in here. Save me, bonk. <laughs> go, go, power flute. to work in the diamond mine. So now we can go there on the world map. We know the location. Now, the last one, which, which you, you can get these in any order really, but the last one is in the top floor. Not really in a dresser, more like a, a green pot. Mmm, green pot. I mean, let's go to the diamond mine now. Actually, one last thing I want to do. Get these silly jewels out of my inventory, because they just take up space. <clears throat> oh yeah, I think um, in one of the other videos I was like, I never used the wind melody, or the song of wind. That's only because I didn't really need to. I knew in advance which tile to push in that one room with all the tiles that looked the same. If you play it, the one lights up, but basically you don't need to use it if you know where to go and what it is in advance. Kind of a useless song, really. Okay, Diamond Mine. And uh, hey, there was ne something called Neil's Cottage up there. If we can see it written on the map, why can't we go there? Like, you'd think they should just make those words Neil's, map, Neil's house on the map not appear until you know where it is, or until you can get there. Whatever. I'm just going to ignore the crappy map system, because the rest of the game is actually pretty good. One good thing about this game is you can't really farm for experience. I mean, to get to the max level, you just have to kill everything in every dungeon. Like, if I skipped an enemy in this room, I wouldn't get that health out. So, like, but you can't get above that level. If you kill every enemy you come across, they don't respawn, so you can't get above a certain level. You can't overpower yourself. You can you can get to the maximum level possible. <laughs> I like that. I'm frozen with him. So basically, you can choose to miss guys, or you can get them all. 
don't know, that was kind of a pointless thing I wanted to point out, but anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna kill everything for now. Mostly because certain enemies, when you kill, does stuff like that. Well, I guess you don't really need to kill these guys, but... There's, sometimes you have to kill all the enemies in the room in order to open a door or a switch. Or kill a certain enemy to do something. So sometimes you have to do it anyway. Plus, I like levels up. They make means I can... If I level up as much as I can here, that means the next area will go that much faster. And beating the game faster is always good. Huh, as soon as my health goes low... One drops for me. That's good. Se secret en entrance in a wall that blows your hair like the wind. Now, also that secret entrance will make a sound when you attack it. Like, just like in that other place. But that'll be coming up in the next area. So... And we have lots of time left. This place is going fast. Okay, this way. Rather we don't die on the way, because I'm trying not to suck. I hate those guys for that, it just slows me down. Be careful about this area, if you're sprinting all the time, a snake will just come up in front of you and you'll run into it. So I'm going to try not to run too much. I guess that guy wouldn't have gotten me, but still. That one would have. <laughs> Yay, switches. I like how we can keep hitting them even though they're off. <laughs> well, some of them go sw alternate on and off. But this one just stays off even though you can still hit it. <laughs> how come it reacts when it doesn't switch? Not that I should really care. Attack power. I'm happy about that. Uh, well, I'm sucking at combat here, so I'm going to suck it up and burn a herb. Even though I'd probably just get a health drop from some enemy anyway. So it's probably a waste, but there's so many of them in this game. I still have way more than I'm going to need, so. Almost like the herbs in Lundra. It's plentiful and kind of useless and cheap. This is a room that has a secret passage. Well, it's not really a passage, it's more like a secret w wall. That one, see wind? No wind. And it makes that sound. It's not a passage because it doesn't go anywhere. It's just a guy. I think that's the only place in the game you get three red jewels at once. It's almost as if they ran out of places to hide them and they're like, oh, we have two left. Where do we put them? Hey, let's just give this one guy two extra ones, because we're lazy. Instead of finding two new places to hide them. I don't know, that's what it seems like to me. Like, they could have just had it, oh, he hands you one a jewel, you have another one in your bag, and then the other two go somewhere else, but... Like, usually, people just hand them over, but... Is he going to all the work of sending them all the way to the gym guy just for me? Like, I don't know, it just throws me off, I guess. Uh, no one important ever calls me, so I'll just hang up on them. Plus, I didn't even recognize the number. It's probably a telemarketer. <laughs> There's something like... I don't know. I don't even know what it was. It's no one I recognize, anyway. Although, I guess I could have answered it, because... I'm running pretty short on time now, so I'm going to have to cut the video short pretty soon anyway. Oh well. See how dedicated I am? I'm ignoring pointless phone calls from telemarketers that I wouldn't answer anyway. All for you. You better appreciate it. <laughs> hey, look, health. Yay. One enemy left in this place. We can't get it yet. Hmm. I still want some long range. I think I mentioned that before. Bow and arrow would be nice, or maybe some magic missiles. I have a long bow of strength. 
magic missiles of doom. Also notice how Frieden doesn't have a charge attack yet. Oh, well, that's good enough for now. Uh, see you next time and we should finish this up by the end of the next video. With lots of time to spare. See ya.